wrist is right. Oh well. Purpose, I'll, I'll go London I'll 200. The purple tunnel. You'll find the National Gallery and the National Portrait Gallery at this famous square. What is Trafalgar Square? Correct. London for four. London for four hundred. Legend says this place name is derived from the Piccadilly, a type of collar once sold nearby. What is Piccadilly? For four hundred dollars. The day is mine. I'll take famous titties for four hundred. Got it. Are you going to take Famous Titties for 600 this time? I'm going to take uh, London for 600 though. Yeah. This famed museum on Marylebone Road makes us wax nostalgic. What is uh, Madame Tussauds? You know. Yeah. A statue of this mythical beast makes the start of Fleet Street, as Merv could tell you. What is a griffin? Are, you, are these guys just giving you these... You know, spoofing you these clues? They must be. Merv Griffin. Without him, we wouldn't have Jeopardy, and we won't have Wheel of Fortune. Correct. We wouldn't have date shows anymore. Right. London for a thousand. Percy Shelley's first wife drowned herself in a lake in this park known for its orders. What is Hyde Park? Jackal Park. It is Hyde Park. I got it. Jackal Park sounds like a good place too. Oh, okay. 19th century fashions for 800, for 600. Sorry. It's okay. He put the blue in blue jeans. Who Levi is a uh, Strauss? Levi Strauss. Oh, it's Levi Strauss. Remember, in double jeopardy, you gotta phrase it, otherwise they'll call you wrong. I did phrase it, Ben. You just didn't hear me. Oh, I heard you. <laughs> Ooh, it's Levi Strauss. They'll let you get away with it in, in the jeopardy round, but here they got it. Eighty-two hundred now. 19th century fashions for 800. A crinoline was used to stretch these garments to about 5 feet wide. A crinoline, I should say. Excuse me. Skirts. Oh, okay. I wouldn't look good in one. <laughs> Neither would I. I want that was from Scotland. Yeah. 19th century fashion, 1,000. Popular styles of these include Hessian, Jockey, and Wellington. Don't know. Boots. I was La thinking of something else. Last category is poetry. 200. In a William Blake poem, this animal was burning bright in the forests of the night. Bright in the force of the night. Let's see if Gail knows it. The tiger spelled with a Y. Tiger. Tiger. I can't believe they named him after your cat. Yeah. Poetry All right, let's move on. His poem, starting from Pamanuk, first appeared in Leaves of Grass under the title Proto Leaf. Leaf. 
XYZ again? Yeah, that's what they put if they don't know. I'll have to look that up later. You do that. Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman? <laughs> he doesn't know he, he doesn't know anything, but anyway. Rudyard Kipling wrote of being on the road to this city where the flying fishes play. I'm gonna say what is Bombay? I thought I was For now, I do. Will all depend on Final Jeopardy. Categories. Oh, Mandalay. Mandalay. Mandalay, Mandalay, Mandalay. Poetry 800. This poet lived most of his life with an unrequited love of Irish patriot bald go. Mm. <sighs> William Butler Yates. Now the last clue. If Gail gets this. In a Lewis Carroll poem, this title pair were walking close at hand. If, Ga if Gail gets this, she'll have a chance to tie your score in... Final Jeopardy, yep. Final, yes. But she won't. It is the... Walrus and the Carpenter. Oh, okay. I am the Walrus. Final Jeopardy category is zero. You know what? I'll wager 2400. Zero, yeah, that's the lowest number. I'm gonna say Walrus and the Carpenter. I go up to ten thousand dollars and I've won. So I got ten thousand dollars in this game. That will do it for this segment. We'll be back for the next one right after this.